Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while since I posted my last video and that's that's due to multiple reasons, but I'll get into the main reason later on in the video. Um, but, you know, between this time and the last video I posted, I've still been playing a lot of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, 3v3 Battle Stadium singles, you know. And as you may know, the current format is Regulation G where you can use one restricted legendary Pokemon per team and then the other five have to be just uh, other Pokemon that were allowed in the previous regulations. You know, as of recording this video, one season has just previously ended. And, you know, one thing I can say is that I've had a lot of fun trying out new options, strategies, and also, you know, finding new ways to deal with the meta strategies that exist. You know, with that being said, there's a very uncomfortable truth that I had to come to terms with when it comes to regulation G and that, and that is that this meta game is fraudulent from a competitive standpoint. And I'm going to explain why in a minute here, but as I started to understand all these issues with the metagame after playing a lot, it allowed me to find peace in terms of my results and rating I happen to get to at the end of the season. So, you know, first, I want to explain the progression of regulations throughout Scarlet and Violet in terms of metagame development. So, in my opinion, Regulation B had the best metagame development at, out of all the regulations, and Regulation A coming in a close second place. Um, and... I, the main reason for this is that team building efforts, in my opinion, have, were reflected in the match, the match's outcome in the most out of these regulations. Uh, in my opinion, I'd say regulations A and B had it so that, you know, you had a random 10% chance to lose a match due to variance, playing, etc. Um, and just in general, a 10% chance of the matches being out of your control. But with Regulation C, due to the prevalence of, you know, Chen Pao and one hit KO moves, you know, more matches felt like out of my control compared to Regulations A and B. And I, I've also been seeing, you know, watching a lot of like players playing the game as well. So I have multiple perspectives on this. Um, but, you know, that 10% is going to go up to 30%, in my opinion, when it comes to a match being out of control. Um, and that's mainly because of the increased variance, you know, like I said, Chien Pao and when KO moves are going to increase that variance quite a bit. And what all, what is also going to increase that is the amount of different selections you have to deal with. So if, you know, if you're trying to deal with Chien Pao and these when KO moves, like from Ting Lu and Dondozo, for example, you're going to select in a certain way to deal with that. And if your opponent selects in a different way, that's going to affect, you know, the match. So that's what's what I call selection variance. So that's going to add on. That's just going to be another contributing factor to the increase from the 10% to 30%. Because you're dealing with the ruined Pokemon, which are new to the Regulation C, but you're also dealing with everything else that was already in the game. So that's what I'm, that's what I was talking about there. Um, but you know, I, you know, going from regulation C to regulation F, I'd say that 30% number like, stays the same because it's still, I think the regulations have the same kind of concepts, um, but just for different causes of variance is why that number stays at 30%. So for example, regulation D had the, uh, addition of Urshifu, which was really difficult to deal with uh, until you made specific countermeasures to deal with it. And that goes with Ursula and the Blood Moon for Regulation E as well. And like the four Pokemon, Urshifu, Pao, Dragonite, and Ursula and the Blood Moon specifically, those Pokemon can just unexpectedly like blow through your team without you even like, like it's just very easy for them to get through your team without any issues, even if you took countermeasures like or even if you thought you took countermeasures so that just adds to the variance as well so you know with that being said regulation g takes this variance issue to a whole new level you know i'd say you have a 50 percent chance to lose like each match straight up and i even said this on my twitter a while ago and i kept this this uh my belief this belief kept proving itself as i played more matches and I also you know, by watching more streams of other people playing matches, you know, it's crazy. Um, but, you know, one really 
unhealthy cope I've seen from the Pokemon community or like the singles community is that you know if you play more matches you will your results will automatically improve and that's like that's not how it works but you know playing a lot of matches can it can definitely help you improve at the game itself but after you reach a certain skill level it comes down to luck you know a lot of people fail to understand this truth about competitive singles Pokemon and it just like you know it's really unfortunate because you're just gonna be in a bad mental state because you th you think it's your like you think it's a hundred percent your skill that you that you keep you know losing matches even though you're playing a bunch and you that makes you think you should be winning more but that's just not how it works. Um, you know another thing that has really messed with my ability to, um, to upload these like videos more consistently is that there's a huge risk or there's just like a lot of cheating you know in the pokemon singles community it's kind of sad you know you know a lot of you guys that are watching may not know this but streaming pokemon and uploading videos puts you at a huge you know competitive disadvantage uh specifically you know if you want to expand on those ideas on the final day where those rankings are determined you know there's certain players who sort of collect that information about teams and spread it around their communities you know as soon as people you know go live upload a video etc and it really ruins the competitive integrity of the game you know as a player who aims to improve my ranking you know i had to temporarily cut ties with high frequency streaming uploading because i would end up getting screwed and that showed in season in certain seasons um unfortunately but you know, now as I've come to peace with the future of Scarlet and Violet and how fraudulent the metagame is and, you know, most likely will be for the rest of the generation, I, I really could care less about this issue. And as a result, I can upload, I'm going to be more uh, inclined to upload more videos, which is a, I think is a great thing, honestly. And it's, it's also going to be great for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, in Regulation G, you know, the amount of variance is just out of this world. And it it's led me to this this 50% conclusion, you know? Things like speed ties, unexpected immune terrors, which, you know, like, for example, you're using Calyrex Shadow and your opponent just pulls out Terra Normal out of a Pokemon you wouldn't expect. That could just lose you the match. So that's like, it just adds to that variance. And, you know... Once again, the prevalence of one-hit KO moves and Chi and Power are still, like, very, you know, much an issue. Um, you know, 25% of Chi and Power is running sheer cold. That's, that's ridiculous, so. And, and then there's also things like Ting Lu and Don Dozo still be being very prevalent, you know, in regulation. You know, in Season 19, which is the current season, Ting Lu is in 4th place, and Don Dozo is in 6th place, and a lot of players are opting to run 1 at KO moves, so what that means is that if you, if they switch in and get an advantageous defensive matchup against you, that means they're kind of they're probably going to use, they can potentially just use Fissure or a, whatever 1 at KO move, you know, when it, whatever 1 at KO move they have, and, and then gamble on a, like, a random kill basically as you're trying to switch or something so it's kind of adds to a lot of luck and an outcome which is really unfortunate but that's just what the mega game has come down to um especially with you know chan pal getting sheer cold that means that if you get the advantageous defensive matchup against chan pal you're still at risk of losing that pokemon it unless it's a you know uh, Avalog, which is immune to sheer cold, but you still have to worry about, you still have to worry about, um, Sacred Sword if you're immune to sheer cold, but Avalog is just kind of tanky, so you're forced to, you ha unless you have these very certain niche options to deal with it, you're just gonna have to, to, to deal with this variance, which is unfortunate. Um, and this doesn't matter where you are in the in Master Ball tier. It happens e like everywhere in the Master Ball tier, at, is, and that's the fear I'm talking about here. You know, the amount of times you're gonna deal with these issues is a matter of luck. It's not like it doesn't 
can come down to skill whether you how the amount of times you're dealing with a a terror that's immune to your stuff it's just luck like it's just depends on who you get matched up against you have to avoid certain things that's just what it comes down to um oh yeah yeah and i also forgot about glide score as well you know if your opponent is, like gets a surprise kill and then safely gets glide score and you're you're pretty much screwed because it can just substitute protect over and over uh unless you have these certain niche options to avoid this issue then you're, you're gonna lose you know so just urshfu rapid strike and primarina to to you know punish substitute um but yeah it's, it's just crazy so yeah that's my pretty much my current opinion of regulation g and scarlet and violet as a whole you know i'm still testing different t teams out and plan to upload videos of one of those teams for sure so yeah stay tuned for that otherwise i hope you guys have a great day night wherever you are and i'll see you all in the next one peace